Well, for more now on the situation in France, let's bring in our senior reporter, Chris Moore. Chris, you're at the hospital in Paris where this first French coronavirus victim has died. What more can you tell us? That's right, the first uh, French national uh, to die of coronavirus here. A 60-year-old man, we understand, uh, a teacher from the uh, Val de Loise Department, uh, which is just outside Paris, who was uh, rushed to uh, the hospital uh, in the city centre here uh, for emergency tests before, uh, it seems, uh, passing away overnight. As you said, a number of uh, other uh, new cases uh, announced uh, in France today. One man who's uh, not thought to be in a serious condition but had just returned uh, from uh, Lombardy in northern Italy. He's in hospital uh, in Strasbourg uh, in the east of the country. And another case said to be uh, in a serious condition uh, in Amiens uh, in the uh, north of the country. Obviously, authorities uh, in France will uh, now be working to establish uh, who these people have uh, come into contact uh, before uh, falling ill. That, as uh, French authorities uh, announce, uh, a widening of the uh, preventative measures that they put in place. Chris, tell us a bit more about those preventative measures and how well prepared France is for coronavirus. Well, there was uh, already uh, a plan in place. It has, as uh, I just said, uh, been expanded, including the uh, including expanding the at-risk zones uh, to include uh, northern Italy uh, and uh, South Korea. People returning from there have uh, been uh, been given advice, including to take their temperature uh, two times uh, a day, to call health authorities if they develop a fever or uh, breathing difficulties, and to wear a, a mask when coming into uh, close contact uh, with other people and uh, family members. For example, French authorities are also saying they're expanding the number of uh, testing facilities uh, available in the country uh, and uh, expanding the number of, uh, of uh, hospitals and uh, care facilities that are capable of dealing with uh, coronavirus cases. In terms of general preparedness, when you've heard that warning uh, from the uh, World uh, Health Organization uh, sounding the alarm bell, not just uh, on the situation in France, but worldwide in terms of the preparedness for authorities uh, for dealing with uh, all of this. And uh, things have already got uh, political uh, here in France. Some politicians, for example, are suggesting that tonight's football match uh, between Lyon and uh, Juventus, a team uh, from northern Italy, should be called off. Others saying, hang on, that's going too far. This is not about spreading uh, panic uh, among the public. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, the uh, French Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe, uh, calling an emergency meeting for tomorrow morning for uh, senior health actors and uh, political figures.